China's tremendous technological advancements are propelling it to the forefront of the current geopolitical struggle. Currently, almost 200 undersea road tunnels are being built around the world. So what about the underwater railway system? The bullet train network in China is rapidly developing, and it'll soon extend beneath the water. Is it really possible? Is China alone in this? Today we'll be exploring the underwater railroad construction in China. Before we go into the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. While the United States has remained the technologically dominant force for decades, China has made massive investments and pursued programs that have significantly contributed to its development and worldwide influence. There were various news reports about the construction of an underwater railroad in 2014, potentially a diplomatic and environmental victory. But seven years later, nothing has changed. We made the decision to look into it. It might be challenging to establish an intentional link between the US and China. Between the superpower, there would need to be an extensive cooperation. China wants to take it a step further by building a 13,000-kilometer high-speed underwater railway system. It is called the China-Russia-Canada-America Line. The 8,078-mile train voyage, according to reports from 2014, would start in China, and the line is intended to cross Siberia in eastern Russia, go 200 kilometers under the water through the Bering Strait into Alaska, and then continue to Canada and the U.S. The Bering Strait Tunnel, which only concludes the portion that crosses the Bering Strait, should not be mistaken with a structure. For generations, engineers have wanted to accomplish this. The Bering Strait Tunnel is a top priority for Interbering, a firm with its headquarters in Alaska. This 125-mile span would indicate that the tunnel was submerged as a railway traversed the Bering Strait, a confined body of water separating the Pacific and Arctic Oceans. The route the train would traverse was under consideration by Chinese officials, who claimed that it was doable. The country supposedly has the technology and resources to finish a project of this scale. Right now, we're already in discussions. Russia has already been thinking about this for many years, said Wang Mengshu, a railway expert at the Chinese Academy of Engineering, in an interview with The Guardian. It would be 1,800 miles longer than the Trans-Siberian Railroad and four times as long as the English Channel Tunnel if the China-Russia-Canada-America line were built. Travelers would be able to do this and take just two days to reach the U.S. Benefits of this project The introduction of an underwater bullet train linking both countries might allow travel between the two in as little as 20 minutes, as flights from Russia to the U.S. take more than 10 hours on average. The construction of the China-Russia-Canada-America railway line might provide capacity for up to 100 million tons of freight, or 8% of global freight cargo, each year between Europe, Russia, China, Japan, South Korea, Canada, and the United States. It's also known as the Global Land Bridge since it would connect the world, according to those who proposed the concept. Gonna be the world's largest high-speed rail network. On whether the railway will actually be built, significant conjecture exists. However, it is feasible given that China already has a vast rail network with a length of over 23,000 kilometers. The nation has the biggest high-speed rail network in the world. The Shanghai Maglev, the fastest commercial electric train, is also found there. Shanghai's magnetic levitation train line connects Longyang Road in the east of the city with Shanghai Pudong Airport. China is spending more and more on train travel from an environmental standpoint in an effort to reduce carbon dioxide emissions from the aviation and car industries. In China, high-speed rail substantially reduces environmental pollution by 7.30% according to findings from 2019 research. Many claim that the China-Russia-Canada-America train would be a massive financial waste because ocean shipping routes already exist, and we should just keep utilizing them instead. Some others also question whether China and Russia would be likely to work together on this project given their historical and current political disagreements. Will the China-US train be eco-friendly? Most people agree that trains are the most environmental beneficial form of public transportation. Rail transportation emits 80% fewer greenhouse gas emissions per kilometer than autos. Additionally, a normal railway line can accommodate 50,000 passengers each hour. Compared to 285 grams for air travel, a railway trip emits merely 14 grams of carbon dioxide per passenger every kilometer. And high-speed rail routes, which can be utilized for both freight and passenger transportation, are very effective. According to a recent article in GreenBiz, they typically travel at a speed of about 200 miles per hour and offer convenience, safety, lesser environmental impact, and larger community benefits as compared to driving.
Will the project go ahead? The initial proposed cost of $200 billion drew criticism from the South China Morning Post. Thus, the project may have been put on hold according to recent reports. Interesting enough, the UK-France tunnel didn't open until 1994 after a 180-year delay in its designs for it. British and French parliaments didn't approve the project until 1987, even though French engineer Albert Mathieu Flavier had initially proposed a subterranean link between Britain and France in 1802. Nevertheless, there's still signs that China's undersea rail project might move forward. In order to show that high-speed railways can be built underwater, the Chinese government approved plans for the first underwater bullet train in 2018. The proposed bullet train project would cover a distance of 77 kilometers, including a 16.2-kilometer underwater segment of the route from Ningbo, a port city south of Shanghai, to the Zhusan Archipelago Islands. Although this project is far smaller than the envisioned China-Russia Canada US line, if it's successful, China may be able to advance toward its greater objective. However, following the project's launch in 2018, media coverage and additional details have stopped being given, making it difficult to assess the project's development. Have any other underwater railways ever been built? While it may seem impossible, Japan's Seikin Railway, a working example of an underwater railway line, proves that underwater railways are more real than science fiction. Honshu Island and Hokkaido Island are linked by a 53.85-kilometer railway tunnel in Japan that runs 140 meters below the surface of the water. Currently, the Seikin Tunnel is the deepest and longest railway tunnel in the world, and 23.3 kilometers of its length are under the sea, make it the longest underwater tunnel. Thus, what prevents China from accomplishing anything similar? According to experts, the most difficult aspect of the project would be building the Bering Strait crossover. China and Russia were in advanced talks about building a railway line under the Bering Strait. If an underwater tunnel were built here, it would be the world's longest, stretching over 103 kilometers. In comparison, the Channel Tunnel, which is now the longest in the world, is 50 kilometers long. At the time, the ambitious initiative was widely covered by the media, with many outlets reporting that it would strengthen commercial ties between China, Russia, Canada, and the US. The proposal would entail building three parallel tunnels beneath the Bering Strait, as well as sections of railway connecting the train systems in both continents. But after the initial announcement and fanfare, not much more was heard about the project. However, as infrastructure and technology improve, the China-Russia-Canada-US connection may someday become more than just a pipe dream. So, what do you think about this mega project? Is it likely to happen? At some time in the future, will there be an opportunity for this? Let's know your opinion in the comments section below. Furthermore, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.